Welcome back to Strength and Health for Life, where we show you what's changed. Hello, hello, hello! Welcome to day 99 of our wellness journey together. Before we begin, we ask that you smash that like button down below, subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell to receive all alerts, and watch the video all the way through. Also, if there are any topics you'd like to see in this channel, please leave your suggestions in the comment section below. So today, I thought I'd introduce a new little series I'm going to do on how COVID-19 has changed the world of weight loss and fitness. It's spawned a new way of doing things, including some new technologies and fads that not only will you find interesting, but I think we can take advantage of. This series will cover some of those fads and take a deeper look into some of the changes that are coming down the pike or that have already been implemented. And what better way to kick off this series than with the biggest fad that's been growing for the longest time? Well, what's that? I'm glad you asked! The biggest fad is wearable technology, which has been growing since before COVID, but it seems to have skyrocketed in growth since COVID showed up. By the way, weight loss and fitness isn't the only thing that COVID has changed. It's changed the way we make money and look at our future. In a world where more and more things are increasingly done online, I think it's safe to say that the best way to control your income is to do something online yourself. And in a world where people are losing their jobs or having troubles making ends meet, now is usually the perfect time to start your own business online and get things going for yourself. So if you're ready to take control of your own income and your own time and build your life on your terms like I am, take action now and click the first link in the description to learn how. So wearable technology has come a long way in such a short period of time. Not that long ago, it was just a pipe dream in the minds of people developing the technology. Now we have wearable technologies that keep track of our fitness, they keep track of our sleep, they keep track of our overall wellness. It's a booming industry that seems to have no end to its growth. I'll give you six examples of important ones that are coming down the pike that you need to pay attention to. Number one, smartwatches. Smartwatches have been around for a while, but now they have smartwatches that come out with different sensors to help keep track of your body's vitals. So we went from a time where you wore your smartwatch so that you could call people from your wrist or text people from any location that you're at without having to use either of your hands, to a time where you can just download any kind of app to keep track of your fitness using the sensors inside of the watch. So it may not be something new, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on as it continues to grow. Number two, smart jewelry. Similar to smart watches, these can be worn like a ring on a finger, or maybe at some point we'll even just have a necklace that you wear around your neck. These have sensors that can keep track of your bodily vitals and send it to your smartphone for viewing later. We definitely should keep an eye on this because how long will it be before we develop some sort of holographic display so that you can see the vitals just from the jewelry itself? Plus, smart jewelry will probably be better for those of you with more active lifestyles because you don't have to worry about damaging the screen. So it's definitely something that we should keep our eye on. Number three, fitness trackers. Now this technology has been around for a while. This is the one people were using before COVID showed up. But here's the thing, when they first came out, they didn't have any of the bells and whistles that your cell phone or smartwatches had. So they allowed you to keep track of your fitness without the distractions. Unfortunately, as time has gone on, they've added more of the functionality of smartwatches and smartphones to your fitness trackers. The problem with this is that they no longer offer a distraction-free version of the same things you get from your smartphone and smartwatches. I think it'll be interesting to see how this technology blends in with smartphones and smartwatches and we no longer have separate fitness trackers. Number four, smart clothing. This particular technology doesn't exist in mass yet, but there are patents being filed from multiple tech companies. Smart clothing will have a larger surface area that touches your body. This will give smart clothing better access to data from your body. However, there are some niche forms of smart clothing that have already come out, from socks that detect developing ulcers on your feet, 
and wearable yoga pants that vibrate in order to keep you in form, to swimming trunks that have an alert to tell you when to put sunscreen on. But in the future, we can definitely see this technology being taken to the next step. We're talking shirts that can diagnose respiratory and heart problems. In fact, it might even be safe to say that in the near future we'll be wearing so much smart clothing that you'll have ready access to all of your biometric data. Number five, implantables. These technologies can range from smart tattoos to little subdermal pills that are injected under your skin. These devices will monitor your body from within its own systems. There are several reasons to watch this technology, but one of them is it may change the logistics of certain jobs, as more and more people may have to be removed from certain jobs that are harmful to sensitive devices. Number six, head-mounted displays. In the not-too-distant future, we may see the advancements in AR. That's augmented reality. Imagine going about your life with all the information about the world around you right there in front of your face. Wondering what type of flower that is? Well, just look at it, and the information may pop up right in front of you. Going for a morning jog? How about having your heart rate displayed on a heads-up monitor? As we see AR and VR developed even further, we'll more than likely see this become more commonplace in professional settings. And at some point, it'll probably just become part of our daily lives. In fact, having synthetic eye replacements isn't even that far-fetched. I know things as an engineer. You'll see what I mean in the future. Even though wearable technology is absolutely fantastic, it does come with some concerns, primarily when it comes to privacy. We go through all this trouble with patient privacy using HIPAA, yet as the future progresses, we may have all that information stored digitally. Because let's be honest with ourselves, tech companies store information, so you know they're going to store the information on how your body's doing, which also makes it vulnerable to outside influences. In addition to that, there's always running the risk of someone being hacked and having all of your vitals given to somebody who has malicious intent. That may just be something that needs to be legally addressed before these technologies progress to that state. And since we're all about wellness, there is something that comes with the heads-up displays as well. Having AR and VR become part of our everyday lives has both a benefit and the potential for a negative. See, with the AR, if we have access to all that information constantly, then where does the wonder go in our lives? Human beings are made to wonder. It's actually part of a healthy mental state to be curious about the world around us and to have wonder at new things. But when everything in the world around us is all of a sudden filtered through either AR or VR, what will that do to the human psychological condition? Some of us may actually lose grasp on reality in general. In fact, how would any of us really know if what we're seeing is real? That just may be something we have to keep an eye on as we move forward with these technologies. As you can see, COVID has progressed certain technologies further than they were before. It's changed the way that doctors are able to interact with our bodies. And that may or may not be a good thing, but we'll never know for sure until the future. But there is one thing that'll always be constant. That no matter what kind of success you want to have, whether it's financial or health or even relationships, it helps to have someone to talk to when it comes to things like this or to help keep you motivated and accountable for what you do. So if you're looking for a weight loss community to help keep you motivated and accountable, or you're just looking for someone to be there for you along your weight loss journey, then please follow us on Facebook and join our Facebook group. Those links are at the bottom of the description. With all that said, stay safe, stay healthy, stay hydrated, and I'll see you in the next video.